Hey and welcome to the Coma offices here in Berlin, Germany. Today with a special announcement. We have a new module. The Dual Discrete VCA. Our Dual Discrete VCA consists out of two channels. Channel A and Channel B, which both have discrete VCA cores. Which means we didn't use any chips to build them up. Both of them have two inputs for audio and two inputs for CV. You can of course set the gain for every input and there's a slope control which allows you to set the slope of your VCA and change it from linear smoothly to exponential which is really cool. What counts for each coma module also counts for the VCA. High quality sound by default, noise by choice. We have been working on the VCA for the past months and it is now ready for release. To give you a bit more information, let's move over to Otto in the development cave to give you the nitty gritty about what this thing is all about. Oh, hi. Hey, it's Otto, the analog designer at Coma Electronic. And since my colleague Bauter already gave you a good um, feature description of this device, I want to talk more about the technology and maybe the design philosophy behind our new module. So why go discrete in this day and age where there's all these kind of ready-made integrated circuits out there that kind of do everything for you when you just, I don't know, pop them on the board? Well, turns out uh, going discrete is a good challenge and from that challenge I think a lot of creativity can come into the design process and I don't know, in this particular case I found that I could really sort of dive in deep into the little tiny details of how the unit performs when working with different levels of audio and control voltage signals and I think those tiny things actually make a big difference in the end when it comes to the playability of the module. One cool thing about these transistor-based circuits is that when you kind of drive them to their operational limits, they start to really behave in interesting ways and that also sound nice. The tran transistors tend to inherently have rather nice overdrive and saturation characteristics. And yeah, those aspects I wanted to also explore with this design. But don't get me wrong, at the same time, I wanted to achieve the sort of polar opposite of that, which is transparent audio path when the need be and also you know up to spec modern signal to noise ratios and noise floors and all of that stuff because yeah like Walter also said before with this thing we have good quality sound by default and noise by choice. We've been working the past months on getting the VCA ready for production and we're very happy to announce that from today onwards it will be available from our web shop and from Coma dealers worldwide. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you soon again.